Funko X Duncan. What is Funko and Duncan doing together? Isn't that a weird pair up? It's not officially confirmed. It is confirmed. It's just Did a you not of see? a donut. It's a, yeah, it's a picture of a donut from Funko. Yeah. Wait, so what does this mean? It says coming soon. It has a little crown on it. Well, you know that there's Krispy Kreme, right? Yes. Okay. So do you think that this is a donut team up with Funko and it'll be Funko Donuts? No. Okay, so you're thinking that it is Funko Pops or a product inspired by Duncan. I think it's ex in inspired by the new commercial because it says join the band. Well, hold on. Funmaker Mike is saying, I always wanted to be a dot, 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 question mark, question mark, question mark. Explain what that means. I don't know what that means. I always wanted to be a donut? I don't think so. I always want to Google it. Hold on. If I go in here and I type in, I always wanted to be a gangster, somebody, famous TikTok song, Tenenbaum, I've always wanted to be a gangster again, able to speak blank, a T. Lil Wayne, I always wanted to be a donut was a quote from a pioneer. All I wanted was a donut. I want to be donut daddy. Yeah. I don't know, apparently it's a podcast. Go down, let's listen to the donut song. Does that have anything to do with it? Maybe maybe it's Mike Becker is gonna be a donut? Maybe they're actually making a donut shaped head? Mike Becker head? There's Duncan a number put eye one emojis. clue. Eye emojis? That's the number one clue. Duncan Donuts commented on it. Wait, hold on. Oh my God, they tagged Duncan. It's obvious that they're working together. I mean, what do you, I don't understand why, why, why did you learn something from pushing that? I'm following the donut trail. They're not even called Dunkin' Donuts. It used to be did Dunkin' you know Donuts. I just found out it's only Dunkin'. I found that yeah. out like a week ago. Because they sell more coffee than donuts because their donuts are Either way sounds sweet. I see what they did there. Honey Nut Cheerios. What am I looking at? A, a donut, donut. A pop of the Dunkings. So people are going the route that you Click think. the replies. Click the replies on Dunkings? Mm. Who? Yeah, <gasps> Funko keeps saying who. Oh. Why are they saying who? I don't know. Is it because it's the Dunkings? It, it, I mean, is, what, are they saying yeah, who? I think that they're like playing stupid. Sunny with a chance of. It says my first th thought was cloud meatballs. It says Sunny with a chance of underscore. Okay, this is getting crazy now. Gasp emoji? Are we getting Ben Affleck in the Duncan suit, Tom Brady, Matt Damon? Uh, so is that, what's that face? Is that a gap? <gasps> no. Oh, it's I a think thinking? It's this one. Yeah. Oh, it's a thinking about. Five below commented? What is happening? The hottest collab to hit the streets. Well, you know that Five Below has to be involved in it because you know when it won't sell out, it's going to end up at Five Below. Mm -hmm. Let's see what they say. Fire emoji. You guys got the best products. Laugh emoji to Five Below. They have the best products. That's kind of weird, right? Mm -hmm. That's a weird thing to say. It's, it's going to pop up in your all store. Just watch. See? That person knows what I'm talking about. This is fun marketing is what this is. I enjoy stuff like this. I like when stuff's cryptic and weird. It's not that cryptic. They tag Duncan. I love And they're playing when it's super cryptic and weird. Oh, who are the Dunkings? Okay. Did you notice? Hold on, hold on. Know. Did you notice there's a heart in the middle? Yeah. So why is there a heart in the middle? It's a heart-shaped donut. But that's what I'm saying. Why is there a heart in well, heart in general, I'm saying. What's the point of that? Because they love donuts. Is that what it is, you think? I think. <gasps> oh my God, look down in the corner, they tagged Duncan. I already pointed that out. I know, out. I wanted to be stupid like you. So anyway, that's our first of our three WTFs. Look, I just slid in a three WTF video. What do you think of that? That's what we're doing for real. We're doing that for real. So I don't know if you guys have seen this or not, but Funmaker Mike posted a video because they're meeting at the Bob's Big Boy. Mm-hmm. Okay. For two so, whole days. Check this out. This is your pal Funmaker Mike, Dolly G. Wait till you hear the oh, big... Wait, 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 wait. You can't talk about this. I can't? You can't. I can't tell him anything? Um, let's give him the location at least. Okay. You're going to want to be at Bob's Big Boy in Burbank. Oh, so they tagged Big Boy in Funko. I was wondering who that was. 
on the 27th of February and the 28th, but especially the 27th. Guess who's coming? Shh. I can't tell him that either. No. Oh. Trust me. Unco, family, friends, fanatics, they'll be there. I guess that's all I can tell you. But at least I'm going to show you what's in this box. No, you, you can't do that either. I can't do that? No. Why don't you at least show us? Oh, well, I'll show you guys. <laughs> we good? We good? We good. It's going to be good. Bob's Big Boy Burbank, the 27th and 28th. You're gonna wanna see this. You know what was really weird? What? In the beginning of that video, the guy on the left was like chewing. It was really? almost as if he was not prepared for, for a real? video. Hold yes. on, hold on, hold on. Now, now you're gonna call something out, I gotta see. Watch. Hey, everybody, it's your pal Fun Maker Mike. Golly gee, wait do you. You're saying the guy wears chewing? Wait, 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 wait. You can talk about this. I can't? You can't. I can't tell him anything? He's not chewing. Watch. Just give him the location at least. Okay. You're gonna wanna be at Bob's Big Boy Institute. Heather. Oh, he's the chewing gum. The person has gum. He's chewing gum. Are you out of your mind? I thought he was eating. He could have been eating donuts. Anyway, we that's the, that's the other cryptic thing. So now there's a Duncan cryptic thing, and then there's a Funmaker Mike cryptic thing about the Bob's Big Boy thing that's happening at Bob's Big Boy in Burbank, California. Can I tell you what I thought was going to be in the box prior to him opening it up? Because I know that he posted a video yesterday, but I did not watch it. Hold on, can we make our top three guesses of what was in a box? Can I tell you what I thought the thing was going to be and still possibly could be? But prior to seeing the video, like as you were playing it, what was running through my head? Were you going to say my hog? No, I was going to say a gold big boy Funko Pop. Ah, okay. So what's your top three guesses? That's your best one. So that is my, that is my number one guess just because of the gold thing. But okay. that could just mean like something really cool is in there and it's like treasure. Okay. You know what okay. I mean? Okay, okay, okay. So... I'm on the fence about it. Go ahead. A pop of fun maker mic. There you go. Look at that. Okay. So uh, the first 150 people to go to Bob's Big Boy each day that they have this, which is two days, mm -hmm. that means that it's going to be a 300 count piece is my guess. What's in the box is Freddy Funko as Bob's Big Boy, but it's gold. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's my first thought. Second thought, it's something that's Bob's Big Boy. I just don't know what it's going to be. But the fact that it is glowing, I was going to say as well, like a gold Bob's Big Boy. I thought that before I saw the gold glow. Right. Or it's some sort of like f just a Freddy Funko in general. Maybe it's not even attached to Bob's Big Boy, but something just very special. That's a 300 count. What if it's just a participation trophy? It's weird that they're making it this cryptic, but not only is it weird. I like that they are. I love that it is this way because this is kind of what I personally like when it comes to entertainment mm -hmm. events and things, which is why I love putting on stuff for Mischief Toys because I like, and also releasing figures and releasing all the things that we do. I love all the, like, the secrets and stuff. That's what makes it fun for me, and I know that our audience for Mischief Toys enjoys that as well. So seeing that Funko is doing something like this is really good. And it's not necessarily that they're copying off of us and what we're doing, but they're copying off of us and what we're doing. Stop it. That's all I'm saying. I just want to be very clear about that. Come on, in every promo video we do, you're always chewing gum as you walk in. It happens every time. I mean, if they're not copying off us, I don't know, I don't know what they're doing. So, what do you think is going on with this Bob's Big Boy promotional thing? Is it an NFT in there? No. Is it an NFT card pack? No. And then we're just going to send it to all everybody's phone when they all show up. That would be hilarious because that would be it really would piss, like 299 of those 300 people off. I am very eager to see what unfolds of this event. It's pretty low key. They're not making it out to be like fun days. They're not having to pay for the event or anything. So they're holding it in a Bob, Bob's Big Boy, which I'm sure Bob's Big Boy like rented it out to them or whatever. I think Mike is friends with that person. Like, I think maybe that's where the deal started with Funko. Possibly. Yeah, yeah I'm sort of like curious about that Like that's where the first that Bob's Big Boy was sold. Like that's how everything started was there. Yeah. And so now we're going back to the roots. Yeah. Do you see what's going on here? They're going back to the roots 
We're the small startup company, right? They're going back to the good old days. And that's what Filmmaker Mike is basically showing. Oh, hey, okay. we're going to have this small event and everybody needs to show up. And you know the, the uh, people showing up, it's going to be overwhelming. It's going to overwhelm oh, yeah. Bob's big boy for sure. People will be flying in from all over the place to try to come to this thing. That's my guess at least. But this is going to be one of those events to show everybody this is the way things used to be. This is the way that things are going to be moving forward. I think things are about to change in a really big way from Funko, which is why things have been really, really quiet. That's just my opinion. I disagree. I think that it's going to get people excited again and thinking that things are going to change, but I think it's going to be the same old bullshit. Oh, you're not going to say that about our friend Funmaker Mike, are you? I'm not saying anything about Mike. I'm Mike, I just wanted to say that Funko. I always loved you and respected you, and I would never say anything bad Ever about you? I'm not I just would like you to know that. About him I would never come down and be very negative about your event. Ever. I, I'm not. I would what only the... say positive things, and I cannot wait to see how this whole thing turns out because some of us are just haters. You know I'm talking about you. All right. So now donuts and Mike Becker. That's our two topics. There has to be one more WTF, right? Hmm. Heather, do you smell anything? Yeah, that weird candle. No, not the weird candle, and also it's not your farts. It's drop coming through big time. They actually shipped our Funko Pop that we were missing yesterday. Oh, you mean so it's they not a WTF. Gave us what we redeemed? They actually sent us the figure that we were owed, and it's not damaged. Remember when I told you they would? How cool is that? That's Isn't that great. cool? So we finally got our Freddy Funko as Pennywise Meltdown Freddy. I'm very excited about this. Now our whole collection is complete. We have every single Funko Pop It figure ever made now. No, we don't. Yeah, we do. No, we don't. Yes, we do. No, we don't. Do you mean the It NFT figures? No, I mean the entire Pennywise It line. We got no, them all. No, we don't. Yes, we do. I don't have the Fun House, and I don't have some of the more recent versions. Why? I, di I didn't go after them. So you're going to make me sit here and look stupid now. Can you go on your phone and just order all that stuff so what I just said is accurate? Please. No. Go ahead. Macari has it all available. Go ahead. No. Let's just get it all so we can say that we can start saying that. Like it's stupid. Well, I keep saying it and then you keep telling me it's not true. Let's make it true. Let's bring it to life. Bring it for Does anybody out there have the uh, Pennywise Fun, uh, fun House? No. Thing? No. Then no. Go ahead no, and send us like 30 no, of them. No. And then we need all the most up-to-date Pennywise figures that have been made so Heather can have them all. I we need to get here somehow, want, I don't somewhere. I want them. I don't want them. And Heather wants them all. I don't, She's lying. I don't want that. By the way, she always acts like this when she doesn't want something. Happens all the time. Yeah, because I don't. Told you. Proof is in the pudding. Okay. Anyway, what do you think about those two cryptic things? And what do you think about our new Pennywise figure? I'm so happy that drop finally came through. But I'm not going to end it just like that. You know I don't. You know I got to be a hater too. Just like Heather hating on Mike Becker and his event over at Bob's no Big Boy. Thing. Just ruined everything. What and the she said no one's going to have fun and the exclusive's going to be really stupid. And I Mike Becker isn't going to come through for anybody. I, didn't I cannot believe you said say that. that. Oh, yes. You, see, I told you. See? Proof is, proof is in the pudding. I thought your hair was going to come out looking dumber than that. Like yours? Shut up. Did you see the NFT box that one of our group mates ended up getting? Yes. And the NFT box? Mm -hmm. Holy crap. Anything look weird or familiar to you by looking at this photo? Yeah, um, it doesn't have a name. Okay, what it else? It doesn't have the silver on it. <laughs> How weird is this box? It's so really the bottom weird. is fine. The top is fine. But the lines aren't there. The lines on the back aren't there. The lines on the side there aren't. Oh, actually, the name isn't there. And the little picture's there, though. But the name of the character is not there. The number is blacked out and so is the name. That's so the, the, I guess the print foil. underneath is still there, but yeah. the foil isn't on top. How weird is that? I This is one thing we have never seen before. This is bonkers. And I'll be honest with you, I really wish that we would have gotten a Funko Pop like this because I think that's so cool. And I personally love weird oddity things like that in the Funko Seems. community. I think that's so cool. I, I think this is awesome, so James, 
uh, I think you, you you killed it. Hold on to it. Don't turn it in. Is there anything wrong with the actual pop? It's, no. it's just the it's box. It's just the box. Yeah, okay. it's just the box. So I can't wait to see what happens with this Dunkin' Donuts crossover. I cannot wait to see this Mike Becker event that Heather hates. She says the worst event ever. And she thinks it's so stupid. And all the things you're giving away there to the people who come in, the first 150 people, is going to be really dumb too and you're wasting all of your time. And you shouldn't even do it. It's dumb. That's what Heather said. And then what do you also think about our um, Freddy Funko coming in? And what do you think about that box? Remember yesterday when I said they're probably sending it and you said screw draw? I never said that. And you said I hate Patrick? We do not say that on camera. You said that. We don't say that but on camera. But you said that. I know. We don't talk about what we say in bed to, to each other during naughty time. <laughs> In every video, we like to shout out to our patrons from Patreon. In this video, we'd like to shout out to Elinda Jean, Jeff Wilson, This Life with Joy, Katie Spink, James Neff, 321 Lisa Stevens, Jamie V, Isaiah Gartman, Michelle Days, and The World According to Jason. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. You guys are amazing and we appreciate you. If you're not a patron yet and you want to become one, check out patreon.com slash gastrocast where you can support this channel in a very big way. We appreciate all the support. It actually helps this channel with new equipment that we need, items that we show on the different videos that we make, and all the other things in between. So check out patreon.com slash gastrocast. And in return, you can be a part of our monthly Google Meet calls where we discuss everything Gasocast, quite a bit of mischief toys, and just sit back and hang out. It is a blast. And for March's Google Meet call, we are going to be giving away a Glow Gasly prototype. Gasly, if you haven't heard of him, which you probably should have by now, is our character at Mischief Toys. So one very lucky person is going to receive an amazing glow prototype. It is going to light up their whole house like a night light. It is so bright. And we're also gonna show you 3D models of our new character Mortem from Mischief Toys and you're not gonna to wanna to miss it. So make sure you join up on the call if you're a patron at levels two, three, and four. Before you go, make sure you hit the subscribe button, the like button, and also that little bell. That way you'll know anytime we go live or post brand new content and the like button helps this channel in a very big way. Thank you so much for sticking to the end. We appreciate you. We will see you in the next one. Bye.